we got to get warm. It's cold. You know what? With the weather being so warm, it outside, it's funny how inside the house, we don't have the air conditioning on. I mean, we don't have the heat on, so the house gets freezing. So we have to get warmed up, guys. We have to get warmed up. Hi, Nicole. Hi, Fedora. Hi, Mars. All right, you guys. We've got 30 minutes. This is going to be a total body workout. And I'm going to share with you guys that... Um, hi, Susan. So, Theodora and Nicole and Marcy and Susan, we're going to do 30 minutes um, equaling out upper body and lower body. So, every time we do one exercise for the lower body, then we're going to do an upper body um, exercise. So, you guys, get ready. Hi, Nicole. I love your last name, Weddington. There should be like a, like a movie, Weddington. Um, all right, here we go, guys. So, you ready? This is where we get to talk and enjoy working out together at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and uh, kind of get that energy that we need for the evening. I've got to coach lacrosse tonight, so I've got to get some energy. 7.30 to 8.45 p.m. All right, Susan, Fedora, Nicole, ready, guys? Let's do it. Um, all right, so I'm going to um, take my timer and just to hit the timer, everybody. We're going to pedal. Now, let me start off with... Make sure the arms on your Core Max Pro is where it feels comfortable for you to place your feet. And then I'm gonna sit in the back. <coughs> I just, oh. I'm gonna sit in the back of my chair, hands on the side, and I'm gonna start to pedal. And guys, what I like about this, and this is something that I need to share with you guys is, Marcy and Susan and Nicole and Theodora, I kinda hurt my knee over the weekend. And I heard it because I was wearing the wrong sneakers. I walked my brains out with my, um, my family. And my knee's been bothering me. And um, so I'm so excited to do this kind of workout where it's no impact. Zero impact on my knee, on my hips. If anything, guys, everybody joining, welcome. If anything, it's going to actually help lubricate my body and get it going. So if you're just joining, this is a 30 minute workout, full body. We're doing our cardio right now. Uh, we've got 30 seconds left, and then we're gonna go into a lower body and an upper body movement. So everybody, we're gonna go cardio, we're gonna go strength, and we're also gonna help our bodies just feel stronger together. So combining the two. And I want 15 more seconds. My name is Carrie, just so if you don't know me everybody, my name is Carrie. Welcome. This is our Wednesday, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. 30 minute total body class. And you ready guys? Three, two, one, and great job. All right, so we're gonna go into lower body. What I want you to do is take your chair away, okay? And I'm gonna actually show you guys because I haven't done this, Nicole, in a little bit. So everybody, Fedora, I want you guys to see this. I'm gonna come down on and place one foot right on my Cormax Pro. And then Marcy and Susan, you know this move. You turn on your side, you take your leg straight down, not on your knee, but on your inner thigh, and you're gonna press. And guys, come down all the way. This is that inner thigh. You're gonna bring it down. Hi, Marla, hi, guys. So guys, we're going for the inner thigh right out of the gate. So why are we going for that inner thigh? I want you guys to have that strength from the inner leg, the outer leg. So press it down, guys. This is that move, this is that one move that I love, that feels so much like a machine at the gym. And now I get to do it with the Cormax Pro and I feel like I'm not missing out. I feel like I'm getting that same movement, that same muscle to strength train with our Cormax Pro. So I love it, I love it guys. So ready, give me 10 more seconds. One, two, three, four, here we go, five guys. We've got our inner thighs, we're working our inner thighs. Always thinking about how to tighten our inner thighs, right? We're thinking about how to tighten our inner thighs. That's gonna help our lower stomach. Now we're going to the other side. So one foot's on the base. The other one comes right on the leg. And here we go. So we're going lower body and then upper body. Ready, everybody? Come on down with me and pulse, ready? Arm can be up to keep the heart rate climbing. Flex your foot, flex your foot. Leg is straight and this arm is right on the inner thigh. Everybody, arm is up. Here we go, here we go. So I'm gonna add another element into our workout today. We're doing cardio, lower body, upper body, and then core. So we're gonna go into a circuit style, everybody, of four exercises, and we're gonna repeat them, and then we'll go into another circuit style. 
Flex this foot, give me 10 seconds. 10, here's nine, here's eight, here's seven, here's six, here's five, here's four, gang, here's three, here's two, and one. Well done, all right, so now we're gonna go to the upper body. Now guys, I wanna motivate you, I really wanna motivate you. I want you to stay with me on this entire program. And I want you to realize that this takes a little bit of time when you're trying to like get your body to recognize um, a program that can change your physique. And if you've been with me during the last year, during this pandemic, you will notice that my body has changed. And it's because I've been consistent. Core Max Pro every Wednesday. We've been doing the ab squat now for months. Everybody, it's the consistency. I do other things, of course. I have my Carrie Whiteman Fitness, guys, biceps. Now I'm looking for you to push your, bring your arms up, get that upper body with your bands. All right, you've got this. You've got this. You've got this. But it's just you realizing that something like Cormax Pro and going into these workouts, they're 30 minute workouts, we have a whole library of them, and you guys can be my best friend because I've been chatting away with you guys for, geez, it feels like almost a year now, and it's been tremendous. But you're able to use your Core Max Pro with me, working out with me, and I love it. Eight more seconds, Marcy. Susan, Nicole, Theodora, Marla, let's do it. Come on, guys, three more. Three, come on, two. And one. The next time I'm gonna show you how that feels. Now guys, we're gonna to go to the core. So let's go down. I'm gonna raise the arms up. When I raise the arms up, that means I'm going to the highest level. Come down with me, guys. Come on down with me, come on. Julia, you ready? All right, so we're gonna sit on the base. I get questions all the time. I mean, I'm 270 pounds. Can I fit inside the Core Max Pro? I do train some very um, larger folks who ask the same questions. I can't fit in that. And then guess what? They fit right in. So guys, this does hold up to a lot of weight. I want you to go back with me and all the way up. So we're warming up the core. This is our first circuit. All right, this is our first circuit. We're gonna do two to three rounds and then we're gonna go to another circuit. We're doing cardio, lower body, upper body, and now the core, guys. So you've got 40 more seconds. So the Core Max Pro hits all these different body parts and you get a full, full total body workout but overall you're strain training your body. So guys, I'm coming towards you. My heels are down, my toes are up. All right, so I'm letting those arms help me up and back. That's why I'm not feeling my hip flexors. I'm only feeling my stomach working. So it's a great way of you just strain training your stomach. If you're on the fence, by the way, if you're on the fence with the Core Max Pro, I gotta tell you something. Just get it, just get it, guys. <laughs> This in itself, my daughter loves. My daughter's 14 years old, she loves it. She doesn't want to struggle working her core like her mama. I mean, guys, I love it all, I love it all. She loves, loves that she gets a core workout, but with the assistance of these arms. Guys, three, she would be with us today, two, but she has a big afternoon and one. Let's go back to our cardio now. All right, so you're gonna grab your chair. Hi, guys. All right, hi. <laughs> All right, here we go. Go back to your chair, guys. We're gonna get our cardio. And we're gonna hit our cardio for one minute. Again, everybody, on the side of the arms, that's where you can lower the arms, or you can raise it, okay? Or you can raise it. All right, so here we go. Back to round two now of our circuit. We're gonna do our cardio. Sit in the back of the chair, Arm, arms are on the side, and let's go. So this is where I'll do a, a minute and a half of the cardio. And I'll talk to you guys a little bit about this program. So with Cormax Pro, go onto their website. You can always see their diets. Uh, and really it's diet plans. It's their nutrition plans. It's their uh, recipes. And I love it. I love it, guys. I will sneak my recipes from Cormax Pro. You've done a great job with providing great recipes. And that's what it takes. Um, looking at different ways of cooking healthier options, portion control. You need to really shrink down the portions when you wanna lose weight. Although guys, I have to tell you, you have to keep eating. You can't starve yourself. You have to fuel your body. You need fuel for your body. Um, also, you need fuel for your muscles. We're creating lean muscle during these workouts. 
We're working our muscles and our legs, our arms, our stomach. You have approximately 30 more seconds now, guys. Let's go a little bit faster. Let's go a little bit faster. I love your hearts. Thank you very much, guys. Now you've got 25 more seconds. So right now, I feel zero impact in my knees, which is what I love because my right knee's been bothering me. Um, zero impact, guys. If anything, actually, my knee feels fantastic right now. I was sharing in the beginning of the class, I wore the wrong sneakers this weekend, walking miles and miles and miles, and uh, I hurt my knee with wearing wrong sneakers, Marla. So guys, make sure you get the right sneakers for your body, for walking, for strength training, or whatever exercise you're doing. Three, two, one, and great job. Okay, so we're going lower body again, inner thighs, inner thighs, okay? Now, this one exercise, just so you guys know, can really define, carve into your inner thighs, from your hip and then down into that knee. I love this movement, okay? So come on down with me, slide one leg into your core max, one on the outside. Now you turn it onto your side of your body, use your thigh to press it down and pulse with me. Flex your foot, everybody, three, two, one, and let's do it. Come on down all the way, head into your hand and pulse. Inner thigh, we are getting our inner thigh, everybody. Just like I would, this is gonna work. Your adductor, your adductor, there you go. Yes, guys, I love it, love it, love it, love it. So you've got 30 seconds now, press and press. Press and press, you can do it. Excellent job, excellent job, gang. Press and press. Come on now, come on, keep going. Breathe and breathe, breathe everybody. Excellent job. All right, 10 more seconds and we go to the other side. Get ready, just keep pulsing, keep pulsing. Keep pulsing, five, four, three, two, and one. Great job, now we go to the other side, okay? Slide the other leg into your core max right on the base. Then place your thigh, the inner thigh, on that leg. Come down, uh, place your head into your hand, and now everybody just pulse, flex your foot and pulse. My bottom leg is bent and it's away from this arm, it's away from this leg. Now bring that hand up to keep the heart rate climbing. I've got a clock here. We're going for 45 seconds. So stay with me on this time. You've got 10 seconds in. We're gonna just keep moving the leg. Defining your legs, guys, happens through training them, strength training them, and creating muscle so you can actually get to see the muscle. Tighten and tone your legs. Strengthen your legs. They're the guys that are gonna get your metabolism off the ground, okay? 15 more seconds, Marla, 15 more seconds. 10 more seconds, everybody. 10 more seconds, five, four, three, two, and one. Great job, gang, great job. All right, so now we're gonna stand up and hit our upper body. Second round for biceps. Let's fix our pants. <laughs> Everything can slide down, okay. So grab your bands. And all together, let's get into our biceps. So I'm gonna show you guys something though. When I place my foot on the base right here, that's just to kind of anchor me down. But watch, my thighs are right in my side of my body. And when I'm doing this, right now, you're gonna see how we work. 45 seconds, pull it up, one. Pelvic tilt slightly, two. And three, got it? And four. And five. Come on, you got it, six. Here's seven, awesome. Eight, nine, ten. Come on. You've got 20 seconds in. I love the thumbs, guys. Bring those thumbs to me. Bring those thumbs to me. <laughs> so you're seeing I'm not moving from shoulder to elbow. I've got them tucked right into my rib cage. Now I'm feeling that surge, that blood flow, my circulation moving around in my body. I'm starting to get warm in these arms. And guys, that means something. That means change. We're changing our body. We're strengthening our body. You're feeling the strength in this bicep happening now. Four seconds, three seconds, two seconds, and now one, guys. Great job. All right, Nicole, ready? We're going to take a seat and go into our core. All right, just a regular core exercise, kind of warming up the stomach, the lower and the upper. And everybody, this actually gets right into the sides of your stomach and the back. So your core is 360 degrees, and you have to always remember, Marcy, all right, guys, and just so you know, you know, I love working out, but I get the ups and downs. Let's do our crunches. 
I get the ups and downs throughout my day um, because just also, just so you guys understand, my career is fitness. So I help uh, with still personal training folks. I still do, definitely, I still, on Wednesdays, I teach two classes for Lifetime Athletics, uh, a 6 a.m. cycle class and a 12-15 strength class. I still have my foot in the door just to help them because so many companies are struggling right now to even get help. And so I only teach those two classes. This is all Wednesday. I teach my Carrie Whiteman Fitness virtual classes, which I taught two today, and I have one tonight at 9 p.m. I've got my Cormax Pro. I have to go coach lacrosse tonight. So I've got about eight and a half hours of physical activity on a Wednesday, just so you know. So that's why I can go up and down. What do I eat? You wanna know what I eat? Okay. To get myself to have the steadiness of energy, there is a balance. You can't eat too much. I'm gonna tell you that. I'm not starving myself, but you have to eat small little meals anywhere from 150 to 300 calories. And then I eat every hour and a half to two hours on these days. Great job, you guys. All right, so now we're gonna go into our second circuit of exercises. You're doing super. So today, what have I had? I've had <laughs> two power bars. I had two hard boiled eggs. I had a bowl of steamed broccoli. Um, so guys, I do, I steam vegetables every night just for the next day, steam vegetables. And I always love my greens. Um, and then I had one apple, and then I had a little scoop of um, my, um, my, my grains. What is it called, guys? It's your oatmeal, but it's not oatmeal. It's really me just doing a little scoop of my oatmeal with some blueberries, cinnamon, almond milk. I have a little bit of that. So that's what I've had so far with about a half a gallon to a gallon of water. Almost, probably in between a half gallon to a, a gallon of water. Guys, I don't mean to sit forward, I'm just talking to you. I do want your back up against your chair and I want your hands on your side. So keep pedaling with me. I want the cardio to be an, a minute and a half. So that way we get at least five to seven minutes in this 30 minute segment. So I, I really believe when we get around five to eight minutes of cardio in these classes, it's a great balance for what we're trying to accomplish, which is overall just everything from strength training, cardio, um, just the blood circulation, the heart rate going. It's an effective workout, and I really like getting this cardio side of it in with the Formax Pro. So guys, I'm telling you what I'm having dinner. Now, right after this class, I will have grilled chicken and another vegetable right after this class and I will have a side salad. So that's another thing. Um, you've got to plan out when you're gonna have dinner. Sometimes it's later, sometimes it's earlier. Today it's gonna to be earlier because I have something I have to do for Cormax Pro, I've got to do lacrosse practice, and that's my story. So guys, you've got 20 more seconds right here, 20 more seconds. Um, it all goes hand in hand. And I want you to take my hand and keep working out with me because you're just gonna feel better I know I work closely with Marcy, who's on here. I work closely with Marla. I work clo closely with Susan. And for everybody who's tuning in right now, great job. Great job being here and doing it, or even watching to see what it's like. Three, two, one, and great job. Now we're gonna go into lower body. We're in our second circuit. Chair goes away, okay? So we're gonna turn around with Cormax Pro, and we're gonna do bridges, bridges. So when you turn it around, I want you guys to see that I'm going to scoot my rear, my buttocks, close to the base. It's not going to be on the base, okay? So here we are, right? My legs are at level two. So if they're at the highest, that's fine, but I'm going to have them at level two. So you guys, we're going to do a hip bridge. So I'm scooting myself closer to the core max. Now I'm bring my butt on my core max to start, holding onto the arms, Feet are on the arms. Now guys, I'm gonna lift my hips, rest my head. 45 seconds, I'm gonna lift it up. Now my hands go on the face, on the base. Hold, guys, hold. Hold, hold, hold. Give me a pelvic tilt. Squeeze your buttocks. Now everybody, start to move your legs if you want. 
You can move your legs. You're going to feel it in your hamstrings. Everybody keep going. You're working the back of your thighs, your buttocks. All right, you've got 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Then we're going to hit our back. We're going for the back, everybody. Big muscle in the upper body. Keep going. You've got 15 seconds now. Hands are on the base to keep the base from popping up. That's one of those little secrets that you find out as you start to get comfortable with these movements. Four, three, two, and one. Bring it down, everybody. Bring it down. Now sit on up, okay? Upper body, let's go. Third exercise in this circuit. Upper body, turn around your Cormax Pro and face me, right? Hello, hello, okay? Now I'm gonna place my foot right on my Cormax to anchor myself. And now you're gonna lean over and everybody, I want you just to give yourself a cross with your resistance bands, cross, okay? Then I want you to grab below your handles if it's too long, so I want it tighter. You can always shorten your bands, but I like my bands longer. Now everybody ready? 45 seconds of pull into the row. So a nice little back row, pull. Pull, now I'm gonna give you a side profile right now, but get ready. All right, here we go. Pull, pull. You got it guys, neutral back. Belly button into your spine, elbows going back, and I want you to squeeze your shoulder blades. Squeeze your shoulder blades. That's gonna warm your body up as well. I was just saying this in the beginning of the class. In Pennsylvania right now, the weather is probably about 65. So we have our heat off, of course, but in the house it feels very cold. So this is great to warm me up. I was so cold before this class. <laughs> All right, keep going, keep going. Five more seconds. Four more seconds. Three, two, and one. Really nice job. Now we're gonna come down and do our core. Now we're gonna work into our love handles, okay? Right into our side obliques and in our love handles, okay? So everybody, how are we doing? Marianne and Theodore, when do you eat the carbs? Okay, so good question, guys. There, that's a great question. So let's bring it down. When do I eat my carbs? Okay, so I did, I did a major transformation when it came to my diet. Um, guys, because I am the most passionate person when it comes to helping people in terms of the small baby steps. It's baby steps, all right? It's baby steps. And I do mess up all the time because I'm a mom and my daughter has chocolate from Easter and I've been eating it. So today is a new day. All right, bring it down, guys. Legs to the side and come on up. So I want the hands in front. The legs are just on an angle. You're coming down. So Theodora, my carbs, my protein bar has about 10% of the carbs in my day, meaning it's about 10 grams of carbs. Uh, so I had two car, uh, two port so I had a little bit of carbs in my protein bars in this morning. Um, my apple has carbs, my broccoli has carbs, but what you're seeing is it's not the processed carbs, guys. It's not the processed. My protein bar obviously is processed, but it has high, high protein. If you look at the percentage, it has literally zero to one grams of sugar. The sugar I keep way down. And then my carbs is like, you know, 10% of the bar. So today when I had, um, geez, what did I, I'm trying to think? Oh, the oatmeal, the oats. So when I made the oats, that was all, fiber and carbs, all fiber and carbs. So that was right before this class, by the way. Um, typically, if I need it, if I feel like I need it, then I'll have it beforehand. All right, guys, ready? Switch to the other side. Uh, like I'll eat it, I mean, today's that day where I'm on the go. But like say it's around lunchtime and I need it, then I'll do my oats. And by the way, I'm happy to post this with you guys. I've posted on my Carry community on Facebook. You can go to my page, Carry Community. C-A-R-R-I-E community, and it's posted there. And it actually shows what I put into um, kind of like my oatmeal bowl because it's all high fiber and my healthy, healthy carbs. Dinner time, I get my sweet potatoes. I do do couscous. Um, I do rice once in a while. Um, but just so you know, I don't overdo it with carbs anymore. Um, I make sure I get the carbs in for my brain, 
because I've got to talk and think and connect things 24 seven in my day. Five more seconds, everybody. Five more seconds. One more, four, three, two, and great job. Okay, so you felt that in the obliques. But it's, it's a balance. So you can find things like, uh, for instance, I don't eat popcorn anymore. I used to recommend it, by the way, but you really don't digest something like popcorn. Popcorn's fine for evening if you want a snack, but I still don't believe that's the best kind of snack. Um, I mean, guys, my snacks are pretty clean. They're pretty clean. I mean, I do have popsicles in my refrigerator. Um, I do have like a, a little bit of like sometimes a protein shake. My calories, believe it or not, each day are anywhere from 1,800 to 2,200 calories a day because I'm moving so much, um, 1,800 to 2,200. For somebody who's not moving a lot, I'd normally have you around 1,600 to 1,800. If you're not moving a lot, you still have to eat. But it's different. Um, you know, the other night when I got home from a trip visiting my parents for Easter, it was 10.30 at night and my daughter and I did not have dinner. So we, we made a spinach salad. And that spinach salad had peppers, it had onions, it had carrot celery, it had hard boiled eggs too, it had croutons, I always love my croutons. Oh, Texas toast, Theodora. Texas toast uh, croutons are fantastic. Um, my salad dressing is Olive Garden, Italian Olive Garden light dressing. I mean, guys, I used to do vinegar and oil and vinegar, and I just kind of burnt myself out. Oh, boy. So see, when you lean forward, <laughs> that's a perfect example. 15 seconds. Uh, so you got to sit back, guys. Hands on the side of the chair. Um, so it's funny. You just have to play around. But you kind of should know what you're doing each day, each week with your calories. You should know. If you don't know, that's a great idea. So start learning about what, how many calories you have by writing it down each day and see what you do in a week. Three, two, one, and great job. I also want to tell you that I really am somebody who, now we're going to guys turn it around and we're going to work into our glutes. Um, I want you to also know that you've got to also eat lean meat, lean protein. I'm big on fish. I'm big on chicken and ground turkey that's very lean. Guys, I'm gonna hold on to the base right here. Feet are up on the arms. You're gonna lift it up in four, three, two. Lift it up first. Give me a pelvic tilt. Tuck your tailbone in. Ready, everybody, and let's go. Go, go, go. All right, keep going. Stay with me. Keep going. You've got 30 seconds. And um, another thing is, I am big on making my own food. I don't do takeout. I don't do takeout. I barely eat out at night. Um, so I'm always cooking at home and I'm saving a lot of money through that. And I'm also eating quality food. I know where my food's coming from. Um, I mean, I do taco Tuesdays at some times. Uh, four guys, three, two, and one, great job. Now let's come on up. If you didn't feel that, you feel right in the back of those thighs. I love that. All right, guys, now we're gonna bring it up to the upper body, going into our back. All right, so twist it around, grab your bands. You're gonna anchor your foot. You're gonna anchor your Cormax by placing your foot, sorry, on your Cormax Pro. Let's fix our pants. All right, so now we're gonna go Marcy. Cross your bands for me and then grab lower. So now we're gonna row into our back. In three, two, one, let's go, guys. So pull one. And two. But I mean, I do make leftovers. I always make leftovers for the next day. So if I have chicken tonight, I'll have leftovers chicken for tomorrow. I always boil anywhere from six to 12 eggs all the time that's in my refrigerator. Um, I always have bananas, blueberries, strawberries. I have a whole fruit platter in my refrigerator right now. Um, so I can snack on that. Guys, I don't eat many nuts anymore. I used to snack on nuts way too much. It's a very high in fat and it was just, I couldn't maintain the calories. I just eat too many. 
So I started to really lower my nut intake and um, that's why it's just a matter of me having chicken, turkey, or fish in the house every day, every day. Or tuna fish, by the way. And I love Trader Joe's tuna fish. Keep going, guys. Then we're gonna go into our core for our last exercise, two and one, great job. But, I mean, again, I, I do wanna say, and I'm not just plugging Cormax because I love the product and I love the people that support, the, the creators of this product are phenomenal people. It's a great company, guys. So I just want you to know, um, come on up. They've got great recipes that they find and they purposely research the recipes for you guys so you can take advantage of it. I pulled the recipes for myself and I love it. I'm always looking for, you've got the legs to the side so you can really get into the side oblique, into your love handles. I always love people who are trying to find great recipes for all of us just to help each other. It's like we're a community of people trying to, you know, better ourselves, better our appetites, better our, our fuel. And you need everyone to participate in this because I don't know it all, nor do you, other side guys, but I do like real food. And Theodora, I'll tell you, for Easter, I had ham, I had mashed potatoes, string bean casserole, corn, I had the rolls, I had the cheese, I had a strawberry shortcake, and I had um, a German, a German pastry that my dad was so happy for us to have because I am German, Irish, English. And so, I, and I had chocolate. That's what I had on Easter. So it's not perfect by any means, but I do stick to 80-20 rule. And I'm back on the 80-20 rule. So 80-20, clean, everything I said, lean, protein, fruits and vegetables, 20% of my little splurge. Oh, and here's the kicker. Here's the kicker, guys. Here's the thing. I don't drink much. I really don't drink much. I have about two glasses of wine a month. That's about it. So, you know, I've realized that drinking for me just doesn't belong in my body. <laughs> it really doesn't. And during this pandemic, I barely drank. So that's it, guys. You're gonna sit Indian style, give me a nice deep breath in and up. I'm always happy to help you guys with just all of us trying to work together to be our best. And this has been so much fun because Cormax has helped me be my best. It's helped me help you be your best. And we are just gonna continue to get stronger together. So have a wonderful, wonderful Wednesday. I'll see you guys next week. Ab Squad on Tuesday, 4 p.m. Then Wednesday here um, with our Cormax Pro. And um, I'm working on a new product of theirs. So that new product's gonna be great. And uh, let's continue to stay together. Oh. Aw, thank you, Susan. Thank you, Lady. You guys are great. Thank you so much. Jen, great job. I'm glad you tuned in. I love snacking on various raw mixed nuts. So Theodora, you've got to put it into a measuring cup. You have to put it in a measuring cup. And Theodora, I recommend putting your nuts in a Ziploc or a container that's portion controlled so you know what you're having. Because those mixed nuts, I can tell you, my darling, oh boy. I made some concoctions that by all means was way too much. And then it adds up and over time you're like, why am I putting on weight or why don't I lose weight? And you're like, so you gotta look at that stuff. And then all of a sudden you see it and you're like, okay, well, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. All right, lady, you guys have a great day. Thank you all so much. And um, I will see you next week, okay? Bye-bye.